Let's do an example where we decide whether a linear transformation is one-to-one -one and or onto. Here is a linear transformation from R2 to R3. It might not be immediately obvious looking at this that it is a linear transformation, but I'm telling you that it is. You don't need to check that. Let's decide whether it's one to one and or on to. And we'll do that using the theorems in the previous video. Now, you'll notice that both of these theorems only work if our linear transformation is like this. T of V equals a matrix times V. Well, fortunately, we've seen in this section that every linear transformation can be written like that. Our domain is R2. So you see we apply this transformation to E sub 1 and E sub 2. And we put these vectors together. And here's our matrix. And both of these theorems involve pivot positions. So let's put this matrix into row echelon or reduced row echelon form um, so that we can see what its pivot positions are. Why don't you actually try doing this on your calculator? I'll wait a moment. So if you went ahead and did what I just suggested, you should have gotten an error message. And that's because for whatever ridiculous reason, your calculator won't perform Gaussian or Gauss-Jordan elimination on matrices with more rows than columns. It's completely inexplicable. I mean, you have these super expensive calculators. There's no mathematical reason for it. I, every time I teach this course, I am baffled anew by it. But what you can do to get around it is just add a column of all zeros. And this column has no meaning. The only reason it's here is that once we have as many columns as we have rows, our calculator will perform the elimination for us. And now remember, this last column doesn't have any meaning. It was only added to get around this ridiculous problem our calculator has. So once we've performed the elimination, we'll get rid of it again.
so here we are, and let's see. It's on to if every row contains a pivot position. Well, we have two pivot positions. We can see that the third row doesn't, so this isn't on to. It's one to one if every column contains a pivot position. And we see that both of these columns do, so it's not on to. But it is one to one.